I checked Dr. Zane's schedule for you. Looks like he'll be spending his birthday this year in the operating room again. The chief surgeon's schedule is very packed. If push comes to shove, you may have to reschedule any plans you have for that day, but you can have dinner with him at least. What are you talking about? Are you going to have dinner together? Ah, right. I'm grabbing dinner with some friends. I need to get going. Oh, the head nurse was asking for me just now. We'll talk later. So, did you decide what you're having for dinner? Well, we have a doctor whose shift just ended. He's hungry, has no plans tonight, and none of his colleagues want to hang out with him. Let's talk in my office. I'm okay. I suspect it's simply an instance of tenosynovitis. Don't worry. It's merely a guess, not a real diagnosis. I just need to rest. That's why I'll be staying at home for the next few days. Wait here. I need to get some documents to take home. Not really. They're just regular files. All right. I won't bring any with me. What should I do to regain some credibility? Will a thorough body search suffice? <laughs> Is this the standard protocol for a hunter's body search? What sort of clothing would have pockets on one's back? Not at all. Your technique is methodical. It's very reassuring. Surely, I'm not the only one who needs to be checked. Ever since someone heard I would be required to rest for a few days, a smile has been glued to her face. You'll be doing it every day then? It's exactly what I wanted. It's good. Perfect, in other words. My hand won't meet the same fate as the fleecy, correct?
Mr. Zane, correct? Here's your international parcel. Please sign for it. Thank you. It's from my parents. I believe this should be my birthday present. I used to rely on the gifts my parents sent to serve as a reminder. This year, however, someone has been giving me early reminders. She's also been more proactive about it compared to my parents, so it's been impossible for me to forget. Are you still curious about my answer to that interview question? They've developed a habit of collecting local specialties and sending them to me a few days before my birthday. Sometimes, it's only through these presents that I know where they've been. It represents a mythical creature from that region's folklore. Nightmares can't be chased away. I simply stopped fearing the monsters that lurk in them. My father wrote about this. He said an old chieftain carved it. It's to bless children so they grow up healthy. <laughs> but I'm already an adult. How can I still grow? Each item here represents a story. It's not so much about the gift itself being memorable. When I was younger, on my birthday, my parents said to me, The blessing given to you by the first stranger you meet on your birthday will come true and last for one whole year. They also took me to socialize with strangers on my birthday. Now that I think about it, I think it's possible my parents just wanted me to socialize. I preferred to be alone as a child. To be honest, I don't quite remember if anyone has ever blessed me on my birthday, but I always held on to the sentiment. Perhaps it's because they couldn't be by my side for several years after that. Ooh, are you throwing a birthday party? Can we join? We've always wanted to celebrate Zane's birthday. I've been to that villa before. It's nice. Do you mind if I join you guys? I never celebrated Zane's birthday before. This is Dr. Riley from Pediatrics. He's also well acquainted with Dr. Zane. The mountain air is fresh, and the autumn scenery is very beautiful. The villa has a lot of utilities, too. It's perfect for hosting parties. If we're okay with that place, I'll be happy to drive everyone there. Then I'll prepare the decorations we'll need for the party.
At first, I was planning to cook, but then I'd probably be scolded for not resting. You know the answer to that. Were you busy with today's missions? Will having dinner together make you feel more exhausted? All right. I'll follow the doctor's orders in that case. someone be this quiet before cutting a birthday cake? This cake represents something else for me. Is there anything you'd like to say before we eat the cake? I prefer listening to you sing happy birthday. You promised me that I wouldn't miss another birthday. Does this mean I'll hear you sing happy birthday every year now? Will you make it come true if I do? Thank you. But my wish is already in the process of coming true. Doctor Zane? you to your word. From now on, you must be by my side for my birthday. Did you bake it yourself? I like it. I like it a lot. You were busy planning the party and baking a cake. It must have been exhausting. I just lounged around. Such as right now. Then can you feed me? Please. It's delicious. However, it could be sweeter. Whether something is sweet or not is a subjective matter. Perhaps it's because I already tasted something sweeter.
What's the matter? Indeed. I'll have to rely on you when I want to eat something sweet. Only when we're together do I taste the most satisfying sweetness. <laughs>